Uh, so hi, everybody. Welcome to the Asia Pacific Chaos Call. Uh, the minutes are in the chat. Uh, put them in there again. If you could access the minutes and add yourself, that would be awesome. I have a very US centric reference in mine. So only Don will probably get it that it's breakfast club day. So March 24th is actually the day on the calendar for breakfast club. So it's Saturday, March, which is a very iconic US movie. <laughs> so that's what today is where all the basically everybody's in detention. All the students are in trouble on a Saturday morning. <laughs> that's the premise of the movie. And they all try to get along and they just end up not liking each other. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the story. All right. Um, so um, I'd like to just, I think the agenda is in here. So thanks for folks filling that out and um, kind of getting through that. I'll share my screen. So the, one of the first things that I'd like to just put out there is this is kind of a personal thing. So um, I'm seeking anybody who would like to chat about um, kind of contemporary ways that organizations are participating in open source in 2021. This was a kind of a series of questions that I had asked honestly back in 2012, 20, 2013 um, with respect to why organizations participate in open source and I'm suspecting that the things have changed a little bit. Uh, this was back in the day when the Linux Foundation had about eight projects in it and I think the number is over 400 now if you can believe that. Um, so I'm curious just as to what's changed and what motivates organizations to participate and structurally how they're set up. So if you would ever like to talk or if you know folks at your organization that would like to chat, um, that would be great. I would love to, to be able to talk with you. So that's, that's what that first one is. So just seeking support. As an academic, this is something I do <laughs> as well. So, um, and it uh, ties, ties back into the chaos work. Yeah, Will. Uh, uh, I just have questions. So you want to interview somebody? Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay, you can put me into this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Actually, currently, I I am a big fan of the interview uh, because I'm working on an inner source project. Uh, it's uh, very useful to to help me to understand the question. So I well, fantastic. I'm happy to, happy to. Great, and we share the results. This is all anonymous, just so you know. And it's we end up sharing the results at the end, just so you can kind of see what other people are doing as well. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Happy. That's that's great. great. Thanks, Willem. Um. The second, yeah, the second I idea. also yeah. volunteer. I also right. volunteer. Well, thank you, Shoya. And um, uh, I want to share a project that I just noticed the, uh, but I think you may be heard of, uh, called To Do Group. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> Quite familiar with the To Do Group. <laughs> I think I think Don I think Don's on the To Do Group. Are you currently still? Yeah, I'm on the steering committee for the To Do Group. It is a, um, I, I mean, the to-do group itself has changed <laughs> a lot <laughs> over the yeah. years. Yeah, it has. Yeah, but it is, I mean, it is sort of the, the place for like, the both program offices. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's, I mean, for me, as someone who works in an open source program office, it's been, it's been a really great resource over the years, for sure. Well, thanks, Shoya. Um, I just wanted to keep people posted on the release of the translations. So, you know, again, we do have the GitHub repository, which is chaos slash translations. And we are still planning on releasing these translations. So the order of events was we had the metrics release that occurred not too long ago, maybe just a couple weeks ago. And we have the Chinese and Spanish translations on kind of the, on a, on a subset of those metrics, probably about 90% of those metrics. And so we still do plan on releasing the translations. Uh, Shoya, I know that you and King have been taking a look at some of the Chinese translations and there appear to be some, some 
uh, just kind of complications in terms of terminology and how we use how we use language. So I'm, part of me is hesitant to do the translation release if we're not getting the language correct, but part of me is eager to do the translation release because it provides an opportunity, obviously, to have the metrics released in other languages. So I'm kind of, I'm torn. People have thoughts on this, I'd really appreciate it. Do we have a deadline for the release of the translations? We don't, because this is new. And so I'd, I'd rather work to get it right than to do a deadline. Um, I'm not sure if we can, like, uh, I think it's, uh, it, it may take a lot of time to, uh, we maintain a uh, terminology list and um, to change all the expression in all the metric, but uh, we can fix uh, the conflicts we have find out now and to uh, revise them all. And I think we can have a maybe first release. Um, I mean, just uh, the terminology that we think it, uh, is more that we have a we can uh, change the expression and uh, like the issue, uh, the close issue, I think uh, that me and he have, have um, that uh, we have discussed a lot under that issue and uh, that PR have, 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 have been merged for quite a long time. I think we can um, change, the, change that specific expression for our metrics for now and uh, prepare for uh, first release. Okay. Would it make sense, Shoya, to maybe focus on a smaller set of metrics that could be released as translated? So like, you know how we have the different focus areas, like diversity and inclusion, evolution, common, um, risk, and value? Would it maybe make sense to only focus on, say, the subset of metrics that are in evolution first? Like, we don't have to release everything right away. We could do it in, in, in pieces. Yes, I think that works. I, uh, we can have further review, maybe like all the metrics under the evolution area. Okay. I was, that just came to me listening to you talk that maybe it makes a little bit more sense to pace it. Okay, pace and be only release evolution metrics. Does that, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, does anybody else have comments or thoughts on the release of the metrics, the translated metrics? Willem, Don? No? Okay. I'd really like to get this done. It, um, well, Willem, <laughs> goodbye. Um, okay. So thank you, Shoya. I really do appreciate the support and help on that. So the meetups? I'm not uh, sure who put the this in here, but thank you. So I, I put those pictures. Uh, yeah, it went, it went well. The uh, meetup, um, all the topics are around metrics, um, and we uh, we um, play the video from actually from last meetup that recorded by Elizabeth and Xiao uh, talking about the whole chaos community and. Um, uh, Augur. Um, this is the first section about um, metrics, and uh, I also introduced the GitHub GitHub analysis report represent my lab, um, okay. and uh, also topics around infrastructure and uh, compliance. So Sh Shoya, how I just wrote in there, are there are there things that are being produced at these meetups or like conversations that you're capturing at the meetups that would be helpful to br bring into the discussions that we have in chaos. You know, if you're talking about metrics, are there new metrics that people are talking about? Is there work being done on 
existing metrics. Like I'd, I'd love to capture the good ideas yeah. that are coming out of these meetups. Uh, most of the discussion is around how to apply these metrics to because uh, this meetup is actually um, uh, supported by supported by the uh, open source operating system uh, named Open Open Europe, uh, and this uh, this operating system used to belong to Huawei, and uh, they open source it's last year and um, okay. they are trying to measure the measure um, like uh, because they want to make the community more uh, more active or um, they want to know um, or, or just to uh, re, um, improve the user retention I, or I, I, contribute. I think I, I I think I can add some uh, comments on that. Um, for the open it, uh, it's a uh, uh, Linux uh, uh, distri distribution, and uh, the, uh, it has uh, uh, great uh, pressures on the uh, compliance, uh, license compliance. So, so most of the uh, um, so. Uh, King and, uh, and some others, they, they just uh, uh, set a, a special interesting group about uh, uh, compliance, uh, license compliance or, or, or um, uh, so, so uh, um, I, I think they, they, uh, they need to spend a lot of time on, on, um, on the, uh, chaos uh, RASP uh, matrix, uh, okay. and uh, uh, that's pretty much what I I know about. Okay, so open. It, this is it, right? Open E U L E R. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so so this is a it's a distro. It's a Linux distro from Huawei. Is that correct? Um, actually, it, uh, it's. Uh, uh, Run by Huawei, but uh, there was uh, 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 it's an open source project, and uh, other uh, companies uh, are, are joined. So, okay, is it uh, mostly Chinese companies? I'm just curious. Yeah, I've never yeah, heard yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. it's the Chinese company. And so the question is, is it about open Ural? Euler? Euler? <laughs> is that how you say it? Uh, oh, open your oh, mm -hmm. how do you say it say it again i'll get it um, right ola um a, uh, it's a uh, uh, math uh i think it's a uh, formula math formula card no it's not a formula <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> i'll just spell it uh, open open e <laughs> o e -L -E -R. Okay. yeah e u l e r it's a okay. uh, uh, math uh, mass math is mathematic. Okay. Yeah, mathematic. So, is the question about how to manage risk in this distro to ensure yeah. that the distribution is not um, in violation of licenses? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, that's interesting. And so, how old is this distro? Uh, I, I think uh, in, in Huawei, it, it, it's about uh, four to five years, but it's okay. just open, uh, be open sourced uh, for one year. Okay, interesting. Do you have a, a, a link to it? Oh, you mean uh, the, the, oh, I, I just sent a link of the, <laughs> the mass, uh, meditation name. And uh, there was maybe some pronunciation on that. And gotcha. uh, you, do you have a link to the to the source yeah. code for this? Yeah, is yeah. It a, let me, okay. let me try. Be... Yeah, so website. Uh, so you were so the the meetup was talking a lot about this. Is that correct? Um, some of them. 
Okay. I mean, I think this could be interesting to draw forward if there's to see how the chaos metrics are playing a part in the conversation. Um, Shoya, would you, or Willem, would you have an interest in, you know, like a blog post for chaos about open EULER and mm -hmm. what, you know, kind of what the history is and then how license compliance is a, is a concern and how the chaos metrics help help overcome that concern or maybe concerns the wrong word, but maybe how the chaos yeah. metrics help overcome those issues. I, I, I guess King uh, may have more information about that and I will okay. pass this information to him. And uh, okay. it, it, it could be great. It, Because I think that like pulling out stories from from organizations and communities as to how the metrics are helping them think through issues. And I think honestly, I am, would I would guess yeah, 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 yeah. keep keeping our eyes on open Euler um, mm -hmm. is important because a distro a new Linux distro coming from Huawei with participating Chinese organizations probably has some momentum behind it. And it might be worth watching. That'd be my guess. Uh, yeah, and uh, I, I totally get your idea about, um, uh, there was uh, some uh, open source projects that they uh, like to uh, share the information that's uh, another uh, company or organization adopting this kind of mm -hmm. uh, technology and these it will be very helpful for others to uh, follow the <laughs> the, 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 the road uh, the, uh, follow the road and uh, then they can come up uh, maybe the similar solutions uh, yep. on top of this uh, technology that would be great I would love to see that <laughs> I'm starting to think in it, chaos, we're driven a lot by stories, just because every situation is so unique that mm -hmm. it's hard for us to ever specify something explicitly, but I think stories really help draw out um, yeah. what other people yeah. are doing and what they're struggling with and how they're overcoming the, the things that they're trying to overcome. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. Okay, all right, cool. These, um, these just have, Shoya, have you written a blog post for chaos before? I don't know that you have. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe you oh, have. I, I think I, I had a blog post uh, when the badging documentation um, okay. released, yeah. These can be short. They don't have to be long, very, very long posts or anything. I mean, they can basically just say, here's, here's what we are trying to accomplish. Here's the story that we have, and, and here's you know where we plan on going in the future, or would like to, to go in the future. That'd be really great. All right, cool. Um, Shoya or Willem, do you have any other comments on the meetup? Things that we can bring forward? Yeah, um, I don't know. The, the, You're good. About the GitHub, a GitHub and nice report. Um, yeah. We just had we just had the last translation review uh, yesterday, and it, it really took us a lot of um, energy to do this because the report is really long, and uh, we just put it into Google Translation first and to review the correction, and it turns out that 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 doesn't work so well. But but hopefully the uh, English report will be published before April. Okay, and this is the report, right, that I have that Google Doc link yeah. that I just put in there? Yes, yes yeah, so we have the... already... Go ahead. We have already sent the document to uh, designers to make it a, a, a looks PDF and uh, it looks... Okay, there was a PDF link down here as well. Yeah. Okay. 
could you could you remind me again what the what the report is for? Oh, um, because oh, our lab, uh, we had a uh, a lot of exploration on the on on GitHub data because uh, we collect uh, the the all domain GitHub data from the GH archive GH archive project. Sure. Okay. Um, so this, that. so this report is helping other people do something similar. Is that right? Oh no, the report is based on the uh, developers' collaboration, uh, log data to do some analysis, and we had we just to uh, display the results oh, right. we okay. analyzed. Yeah, and we uh, we also have have some we we also call it metrics, but uh, not like metrics. Um, uh, like um, we had, uh, for example, we had a metric called uh, activity, activity, but uh, we just combine uh, issue, uh, PR, uh, PR command, PR merge, all these events together and give them weight, um, like a, it's a mathematical model. Gotcha. I remember this now. I think you, I do. Thank you for reminding me. So sounds good. Thank you. Um, all right. Any other comments on the analysis report? No. After okay. it published, I will share it with you. Thank you. And maybe this is my my message for the day. Would you like to make a blog post about that as well? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I when I say like you make a blog post, Shoya, what I mean is I would love to help you in bringing that blog post to the chaos community. I think that's great stuff to share. Yeah, I have submitted a blog post before and I, okay. I think I know the process. Okay, and it, that sounds good, thank you. Um, Shoya, I'm guessing we're gonna stay with you on the WeChat, is that right? Yeah, yes, this is uh, a WeChat promotion uh, we published um, last weekend um, about Chaos is participating this year's Google Summer of Code, hoping that uh, more student can, more students from Chinese can, from China can participate into it. And Great. actually, we had, I had a friend uh, from, um, I don't know, South Africa, he's in the meeting. And he, uh, he, 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 he is planning to apply for Okay. Yep. So if he has questions, so I don't know if he's reaching out to you or to the chaos folks, but um, the, just the way that it works, right, is we have a series of ideas that are posted in the governance repo. And we have a series of associated with the ideas are micro tasks that we ask interested students to accomplish. So it's just a way to kind of ensure that they have the, it's a way to kind of measure the skills that they have prior to being accepted to Summer of Code. So for example, if it's a Google Summer of Code idea associated with Grimoire Lab, then the micro tasks are things usually like just installing Grimoire Lab and running through a series of, of tasks associated with the software. So um, if, the, if anybody who's responded to you has questions, um, they can talk to you and you can talk to me or they can just post issues in the repository to ask questions about how to make sure their application is done properly. Yeah, I put some resource, resource link uh, at the bottom of that promotion. Okay, uh, cool. The link of chaos mailing list. Okay. And the, and the governance uh, page, interested idea page. Oh, great, thank you. Perfect, thank you, Shoya. Um, all right, the next item, this is season of docs. And so I just like to, oops, I can spell that right. Um, so Google season of docs is dramatically different this year than it has been in the past. So. And Shoya, I know that you had expressed interest in possibly participating in Season of Docs. 
And so the way that the way that it works, I think, this year is that um, the chaos project actually identifies individuals who would work almost as consultants for the chaos project or with the chaos project. And then and it, that's kind of done ahead of time. And then based on that, um, Google actually provides, puts the dollars into an account and open, it's a site called Open Collective or a project called Open Collective. And then chaos uses those funds to pay the individual. So for example, Shoya, if you had an interest, you should take a look at the, the interest page that I put here. And so these are projects. And so you would actually take a look at that interest and try to align, say, if it's with Augur, that would be obviously with Sean. If it's the website stuff, that's generally with Kevin. And so we talk through kind of what that work would look like. And then we go back to Google. We, meaning the Chaos Project, goes back to Google and says we have two individuals, for example, who have an expressed interest in participating in Season of Docs. Can we have support for those two individuals? And they essentially say yes, and they allocate the funds to Chaos, and then Chaos allocates the funds to the individual. Um, so there's less oversight from my perspective in Season of Docs than there is in Summer of Code. So in Summer of Code, Google has a lot of kind of milestones that need to be hit and a lot of reporting that's done. Season of Docs feels very different this year in that it's about identifying essentially a consultant to work with documentation in the project. So if you have questions on that, Shoya, I know you had expressed interest. I'm happy to, to talk to you out of band or and try to answer questions that I have now. <laughs> it's, as, as things change, it's always confusing, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't have questions for now. I'm just a bit confused with the timeline. So uh, if I uh, expressed uh, interest, uh, so now I just need to express my interest to chaos uh, mm -hmm. instead of sit up dog. I believe uh, so, yes. I can check with Venu, who's kind of leading our efforts around season of docs. Um, but I think today, March 24th, Breakfast Club Day, is the day that we actually do the submission as the chaos project to, to express our interest in participating in season of docs. So I, I think at the moment, there's nothing that you need to do, Shoya, but I'll double check and I'll, I'll let you know if there is, okay? Okay. Cool. Um, all right, there are a couple items that were added by people, preliminary project promoted. Willem, did yeah. you add that or show you? <laughs> Still from me. That's totally uh, fine. This is, uh, I put a Shimo link. Uh, it's a really preliminary stage project. Um, and uh, uh, from my mentor, he, he just, he just told me the, this project today and uh, is uh, promoted by several Chinese open source organizations and institutions and they are trying to um, set some standards. It, 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 it called initially um, open source community governance standard, but uh, we think it, it sounds a bit strange. So changed it into framework or best practice. And, um, um, we, uh, they, we, we try to make the uh, the organizations more uh, diversity and um, this um, governance framework or best practice will sure to also to be drafted uh, from the metric or measure point of view. So uh, I just want to ask if is it okay to represent uh, me or King to represent chaos to participate in it. Yeah, so it, it, I think that seems totally fine. It, is the participation a presentation or is it a, what would? Uh, I think it, it, it will be a document. Okay, yeah, I mean, you both, both you and King are community members of the chaos project. And I think 
having you speak about the work that we're doing as a as a community is awesome. So yes, please, please do that. Okay. So yeah, I, I I think it's many on the standard to to uh, um, make uh, some recommendations for the others to adopting. Uh, uh, some metrics that um, to how, how to measure the, the, the open source project. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, 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 I participate uh, uh, several kind of uh, working group about uh, the uh, micro service. So, so, so I, 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 I know there's uh, some uh, process, but it's many uh, about the documentation to, to make a standard uh, to maybe a white paper is to to let the people to know about the certain kind of uh, technologies or, or, or just uh, help them to adapting this kind of not, not, uh, technology. So like a documentation, I'm writing it here to make a standard as to how to identify technologies and metrics mm -hmm. um, as having a positive impact on source community best practices? Uh, uh, no. uh, it's, it's made uh, related to several open source project or, or, or uh, I, I think uh, chaos provides a lot of metrics. So maybe uh, we can introduce uh, some of them to the uh, standard. So people don't have to do that again. Gotcha. And uh, I, okay. I, I think uh, uh, Xiaoya and uh, King can, can, can provide, uh, can, can be a very good uh, 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 contact points or, or just uh, keep us um, in the, uh, keep a lot of people in the same page. Gotcha. So um, when you say standard, mm -hmm. could you describe that a little bit? Oh, uh, I'm actually, I'm, I, I'm not quite sure about the, it. Uh, let me check. My questions, I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. They're understanding questions, not, uh, <laughs> not critical uh, questions. It, it's like uh, 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 there's a bunch of people who wants to solve the problems, just like the open source community, but uh, uh, it will be a more a formal way uh okay. so 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 uh, but i think uh, most of them are just uh, uh wants to uh evaluate uh open source projects to tell if they it's uh, healthy or or not healthy gotcha. gotcha so um in that in that regard i would i might recommend when is this presentation shoya or willem when would this occur? Oh, uh, um, I, I just know about that. Uh, sorry, I may give more detailed information about that. The presentation means because um, it, it, the output is a document. I, I'm not sure if there will be a Okay, I got gotcha. you. So it's it's kind of an ongoing process right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. It's in a really preliminary stage. I think. Okay. The, 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 the document, the link I'm sharing in, in the minutes may just be drafted yesterday or today. Gotcha. Okay. So very preliminary. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just uh, start uh, the, the, the document a uh, few months ago and uh, I, I just checked the uh, comments. Uh, it's pretty much uh, new. They just uh, set up the framework. So, so okay. there's a lot of work need to be done. Okay. I think my, my recommendation in this regard is that many of the tools and metrics that come out of, of the chaos project are, um, they're meant to help orient organizations towards understanding community health or community engagement. So they certainly aren't universally the same for everybody. And they, we, we try to, in the chaos project, try to not say that a particular metric going up or down is good or bad. We say that these are metrics that help reveal characteristics about health 
and it's up to the local organization to determine if if those if what the metrics are telling you are good or bad. So mm -hmm. from a chaos perspective, we try to be neutral on saying whether things are good or bad. We simply say, here are the metrics that can help you move in a in a direction where you can make local judgments. Okay, uh, I, I, I totally agree with that. So, so it's look like uh, uh, you provide uh, uh, certain kinds of recipe, but to, you need to adapt with your uh, needs. And yes. uh, and uh, I I um, from Iceland, I currently uh, I have the issues to um, uh, to 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 tell which uh, inner source project is a good one. So mm -hmm. so I, I I think I can borrow some uh, uh, house <laughs> uh, um, open source house, uh, house metric to 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 help me to 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 do that, and uh, uh, with certain kinds of uh, tools. Uh, I can do it automatic. But you still have to, right, exactly. And then still, every time you look at a local question, you have to reevaluate what the metrics mean mm -hmm. in that situation. Um, so cool, right on. And I, I can tell you that a lot of people, when you present chaos metrics or chaos tooling, a lot of people will say, tell me what metrics need to go up to be healthy or tell me what metrics need to go down to be healthy. You will get asked that question. And the answer is it depends. <laughs> so it totally, totally depends. Mm -hmm. And so it's really at that, it's at that depends comment where the chaos project kind of stops in terms of our ability to, to, um, <laughs> to communicate. <laughs> cause it, it totally depends. It just so depends. I'm looking at Don. Cause like, I mean, it depends even locally within VMware, like I'm like, project by project by project in VMware interest by different VMware interest. Like I, the, the mix of things is so complex. Yeah, I get this question all, all the time. And I, I try to get, I try to get projects focused on interpreting the metrics based on their particular needs, but that's not something the chaos project can do because it, it varies like Matt said by, by project. So this is great. So thank you. Thanks, Don. And, and thanks, Shoya. And thanks, Will, Willem, for kind of moving this forward. <laughs> okay. have, as always, happy to help in, in moving this forward. Um, the last item on the agenda, oh, Willem, did yeah. you have a comment too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just added, um, this is the uh, uh, Chinese version of the Google Sum of Code. But, oh. uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, I, I think, uh, and uh, Sean uh, have the uh, GT plugin uh, requirements. So I highly recommend that we may uh, be a part of the, these programs and uh, we can leverage the, 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 the support to uh, encourage the Chinese students to do this kind of uh, work. But uh, currently uh, we already have uh, some uh, ideas of uh, some of code. If we are lack of the uh, slogs, so, so, so uh, basically, I, I think uh, this project could be a supplemental um, uh, uh, addition part for, for the um, uh, Google Sublime Code. And uh, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd be happy to fill the uh, apply uh, form for, for chaos, but uh, I need uh, the help of the uh, 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 community to uh, uh, provide more uh, project ideas, and uh, I even need the uh, mentor to to help the students. Yep, sounds good. When is your when is the deadline to apply? I think uh, uh, there's a uh, two months. Uh, no, um, there's a, yeah uh, one uh, one and a half months. I I, okay. I guess. That's when the like the chaos community would need to apply to participate in the program. Is that right? Mm, yeah, but uh, currently uh, we don't need to. Uh, we, we we just need to uh, add as a communi uh, community. Uh, I, I I as the link I I provide, and yeah. uh, uh, if we have any ideas, uh, project ideas, 
we can uh, just uh, uh, add it later. I uh, I will add more information about that. Okay. Um, you no, know, that sounds great. I don't have any. I don't see any problem with that. Um, who who funds this? Who is funding it? Do you know? Uh, it's uh, um, actually it, it's a Chinese uh, ac uh, ac academic. Uh, uh, let me let me okay. check. I'm just uh, curious because these mentorship yeah, it, programs are expensive. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not uh, it's not from the company, but okay. I think they they got a fund maybe from the government. I I'm okay. not quite sure, but uh, uh, this is the second uh, uh, program. Uh, 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 second time. Yeah, second time, and uh, they. Uh, I think a lot of Apache projects uh, participate. Uh, the Apache project of uh, origin from China, uh, they, they they participate uh, this uh, this project. Cool. I will take a look at that. Mm -hmm. And so the premise is the same, right? That organizations apply. They have a series of tasks that they might want to have done. Students apply to those tasks, and the students yeah. get funded. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even okay. even uh, the funders, uh, 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 even the mentor could also get a paid. Okay. Do you happen to know if Apache's done it? That's helpful. Do you happen to know how the? Uh, I'll take a look. I'm just I'm curious as to how the dollars, no, the, not the dollars oh, in this I, case, but just how they flow because it might be challenging to take funds from China into community bridge i'm not sure yeah it it could be a um uh, quincy uh, uh last year uh the chinese students get uh, paid because okay. the uh the money uh transfer is okay and i got the confirmation from the uh program organizer they mm -hmm. they try they they try their best to uh, make sure uh, this year it, 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 it's okay um, because uh, uh, there are some regulation in in, uh, in China, so we cannot uh, send the money, yes, <laughs> especially dollar exactly directly it. to yes. to to <laughs> for outside. But I, they say uh, they said if they provide uh, enough documentation, it should be fine. But uh, okay. it's only small amount of that. Okay. Uh, well, let me, I'll click on the link after this meeting here and take a look and see if we can't figure that out. But that sounds mm -hmm. great. Thanks for bringing that forward, Will. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if you need any help, uh, you can just uh, drop me a mail or, or I, I can share this information in the mailing list. So. Yeah, no, that uh, sounds great. I'd love for you to do that. That's a great place to do it. Okay. Cool. All right, folks. We are four minutes away from the end of our time, but we are at the end of our agenda. So I think we'll let the agenda supersede time in this case and say thank you for everybody for joining. Um, Shoya and Willem, I really do appreciate all of the work that you're doing um, in promoting chaos in China and continuing to, that's just, that's fantastic. So thank you so much. Yeah. Till next you're time. Welcome. Yeah, till next yeah. time. Bye. It's good to see bye, everybody. Yeah, bye. Yeah. bye, -bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too.